We're going to look at modeling a raised panel in FreeCAD today. I'm using FreeCAD 0.2 built on the 26th of May 2022 for this demonstration and I'm running it on Kubuntu Linux 20.04 LTS. The simplest raised panel is made by creating a chamfer on the top of the panel. To do this in FreeCAD, we select the top of the panel, start the chamfer tool, which is part of the part design workbench, and we change the type to be two distances. The first size or distance is how far from the side of the panel we want the chamfer to go in towards the middle. So in this case, we'll make it 25 millimeters. And the second size or distance is how far down the side of the panel we want the chamfer to go. So in this case, we'll just make it three millimeters. Click OK. And you can see it's created a simple chamfered raised panel, which would then go into the door frame or the side of the cabinet. And you can use the chamfer tool to create raised panels on non-rectangular boards as well. So we'll select the face we want the chamfer on. We start the chamfer tool. We set again the distance to two distances and we'll use the same parameters, 25 millimeters in and three millimeters down. Create the chamfer and you can see that it has done the same thing. So you can see it's fairly easy to create a simple raised panel using the chamfer tool. But what about if I want something a bit more fancy? Well, you can't use a chamfer tool to do that, but you can use the subtractive pipe tool. So to demonstrate this, what I'm firstly going to do is create a datum plane on one end. And then I'm going to create a sketch on it. And now I can sketch out my profile. To start with, I'm just going to do a simple one. And this one would be as though you'd created it using, say, a table saw rather than router bit or something like that. Panel is 250 millimeters wide. So I'm going to set the end point to be 125 from the origin, which should put it right on the end of the board. And my panel is also 12 millimeters high. So we will set that in place as well. I'll set the length of the raised panel to be 25 millimeters. We'll set this to be vertical. I'll set this one to be vertical as well. And it's going to be just two millimeters long. And we'll make the depth of the panel three millimeters, like in the original. Close the sketch. And we're going to hide the datum plane because I don't need that anymore. So we select the sketch, start the subtractive pipe tool, change the corner transition to right corner. And then we have to add the edges that we want the raised panel to be created on. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear that we can just select the whole face like we did with the chamfer tool. Then we click OK. So you can see we've now created the raised panel with a different profile to the chamfer. It's still chamfered, but there is also a, a small re reveal here. Now, what happens if I wanted to make that fancier and add some curves? Well, that's easy. We just go back in and we change the sketch. So in this case, I'm going to remove the hypotenuse or the long edge of the raised panel. And future Jeff here, I'm just going to pause the demonstration for a moment because I didn't actually explain very well what I was doing. The idea of this next section is that you can create a profile using various different types of router bits or a table saw or combination thereof. And you're only limited by your imagination and the types of tooling that you have available. Now let's get back to it. Then I'm going to substitute that with say a B-spline. And we're just going to pick some sort of random pattern. And then when we close the sketch again, FreeCAD will recompute the panel. As you can see, we now have raised panel with a beast blind face on it. Many raised panels have a rebate on the back. And you'd think that you could just simply modify the sketch and add an, another bit of geometry, which creates a rebate. To be honest, I've had very mixed results with this. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So let's try it with this particular sketch and we'll see what it does. So I'm just going to create a rebate. I'm not even going to worry about constraining it because I don't think it's going to work, but I could be mistaken. So let's see what happens. So if I rotate it and then zoom in, well, you can see we've got both. We've got the raised panel on the back front and a rebate on the back and I honestly don't know or haven't figured out yet why sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't seem to matter whether it is a square panel or a, a non-square panel. We try on this panel and we'll add a rebate. It seems to have done the right thing. Go back to the other one, 
Maybe we make the B spline a bit more convoluted. So I think just in the rough examples that I've done, it's got something to do with the interaction of this part here and the rebate. But delete the B spline. And maybe we just create it with an arc. Seems to have worked in that case. It's a little hard to know when it's going to work or when it's not going to work. So your mileage may vary on this one. Well, I hope you found that interesting. If you like this sort of content, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. If you'd like to support me in my work, I have a buy me a coffee site where you can buy me a cup of coffee. The money from the coffee will be used to improve the channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.